Greetings and welcome to a new narration done by Dr. Tormund. The following story may or may not prove rather sensitive to some listeners. Discretion is advised and consider this your one and only warning. Now with that out of the way, let us proceed. I'm trying to keep Reality Man at bay, and what a terrible thing that he is. Reality does nothing but shower your senses with what actually is. With Reality Man at large, you will notice the bad weather, the wars, the recessions, and everything in between. I have the medication to keep Reality Man at bay, though. He is so, so horrible. Horrible. My medication, at least it helps me from time to time, if not most of the time. Reality Man hates my medication, you see, and I like to think of myself as his sworn enemy. To wake up every day with Reality Man in your face, now that, that is a terrible thing to wake up to. Reality Man is everywhere, but with my help, he will be far, far away. I can hear you thinking, what exactly do I mean with help? Well, let's take Jennifer for example. You see, Jennifer was suffering so much at the hands of Reality Man, he kept showing her the reality of her debts. It was terrible what he was doing to her. She was utterly at her wit's end, and with Reality Man there, every day the numbers kept glowing at her. And, of course, the possibility of repossession of her property became a glooming danger. This is what Reality Man does, and this is in which he shines. Luckily, I caught up with Jennifer, and I had the protection to keep the Reality Man at bay. Jennifer needed my protection from him, and I gave her my medication. Unfortunately, we are all born to see Reality Man. We hear him, smell him, we even touch him. When Jennifer took my medication, she no longer could perceive Reality Man. Not in front of her, nowhere, and her life was fine. My medication had its limits, of course, and I have a growing, shall we say, fan base, who also wanted protection against Reality Man. I met up with a stranger that had some, shall we say, very, very realistic prospect of going to prison. And that thought, the thought of going to prison, that was something that was utterly dreadful to him. Something that Reality Man kept shoving in his face. I gave him my medication, and soon enough, the Reality Man couldn't touch him anymore. Then I decided to meet up with parents whose children were terminal, and the reality man kept making it more real for them. Real as in... the fact of what was awaiting them. A prolonged, excruciating, and painful death. They wanted my protection from a reality man, and so I also gave it to them. I gave my medication, and they were so happy that reality was held back and everything was fine again. You see, Reality Man loves shoving it right into your face about what your reality is and will be, and he has a sadistic joy to it. I see people in all sorts of situations having to face the bastard, and I help them deal with reality as well. But recently, recently the tables have turned, however. As I'm telling you this, I am facing Reality Man myself. 
and this time I don't have my medication with me. The officers kept telling me that I'm going to jail for selling heroin to people in desperate situations. Hmm. I should best keep Reality Man at bay by taking my own medication. Maybe something more permanent this time. And so we've come to the end of our narration today. I hope you've enjoyed this particular story a lot, and please do consider to like, comment, and eventually subscribe if you feel particularly wonderful today. Don't forget to have a look at the description, as there you will find a link to this particular story, and also to their creator, who I can promise you has much more work under their belt if you want to read more. And on this final note, I'd also want to invite you to have a look at our Patreon page, which you will also find down in the description. From there, you may aid the channel in its ultimate goal, to be free from the guidelines and rules that YouTube has established upon independent creators. And lest I forget the multitude of bonuses you will receive as an official member of our Patreon page. Until our next session, this has been Dr. Torment, bidding you adieu. And remember, don't fall asleep, ever.